morning, good morning. It's Portland <laughs> and it's snowing a little, a lot. Uh. Um, first of all, I don't wear the same clothes every day. I'm a sign language interpreter, and sign language interpreters wear a lot of black. So, just thought I'd let you know that for the third day in a row, I am wearing three different black shirts. Also, I just read um, the comments. I can't comment back, but I just read the comments on my last vlog, and... Um, it's funny because I think out of all the vlogs I've ever done, that one, I, I just feel the fluffiest. And yet I get comments that I'm looking great and all that. I want you to know that I've decided not to mess with camera angles and what you see is what you get. Ooh, Dutch Brothers. So, as I'm in line here for my Dutch Brothers treat, I just wanted to say that when I got out of bed this morning at 5 o'clock and I opened up the front door and I saw the snow, I said a bad word and then I went back to bed, laid back down and thought, am I going to really do this? Am I going to go out there? Am I going to get the snow? Anyway, I'm not... Um, a real snow. I don't. I like snow, but I don't love snow. So anyway, so that's how my day started. So I grumbled enough that my husband got on his coveralls and helped me out a little bit. Got my car all warmed up and went and punched through the snow because the snow plow would come down the highway and then leave a berm, so we couldn't get out of our driveway or out of our road. So anyway, I'm on. Uh, not dry ground, but I'm on non-snowy ground now that I've come into town. And I'm looking a little disheveled, but you know what? That's just the way it is today. Um, went to Trader Joe's last night and bought some macadamia nuts and some edamame already shelled. And um, this morning I made myself like an edamame salad. I chopped up some red bell pepper and some onion and celery and cucumber. Little those little Persian cucumbers. They're they're just little bitty things, but yummy, flavorful. And then add a little bit of salt and pepper and mayonnaise, and that's my lunch for today. In fact, where is it? it probably doesn't look very good. Ooh. Food porn. <laughs> yeah. Anyway, I'm in my red car, as you can tell. It's a crank down window. <laughs> um, because this car has snow stock, snow tires, and my other one doesn't, and it's just all over the road. So, um. I really feel like I'm having a, a non-scale victory. I, I really feel like I don't first think of food as often when a stressful moment comes up and that is so liberating and I know that it's actually happening because I used to be a smoker and it took me a year and a half to get off the habit of thinking about cigarettes every time I would wake up and every time I'd have a meal or I'd get in the car or you know some trigger and so I know what that feels like and I'm just saying that I can now I can I seriously I can um, choose not to, to have a food or a drink and it doesn't even have to be a high fat food just a food hang on a second good morning I'm thinking I'd like a really a, a large um, sugar-free vanilla latte 
but easy on the syrup. Have a good day. Like I said, I you know I can turn down treats. I don't need special special things. Like I don't need to reward myself when I spend the morning shoveling snow and um, um, feel like I need to have a special treat. Okay, see, ya. I gotta go. I got I got things to do. Bye. I just got paid one of the nicest compliments from one of my colleagues and friends. Um, and I wanted to, what I consider a compliment, um, and I wanted to share it with you. Um, I went in to, I had to talk to an interpreter, just the two of us, and she was sitting there talking to me, and she, all of a sudden she looked down, she goes, you're wearing jeans! And then looked up, and sure enough, I am wearing jeans, and I've told you the story before about these jeans. I've had them for years, and haven't been able to wear them, and now I can, and so... Not everybody has seen me wear jeans. But anyway, she says, you know, Debbie, I wanted to tell you that I have noticed your weight loss and just your body comp composition is changing so much and your arms and everything. And she goes, Debbie, I noticed that you're getting a lap. And I said, absolutely. I said, absolutely. I said, the. I remember one day just being so embarrassed because I looked down and my lap was that big. It was just like two or three inches, you guys. I had that much lap. Now look down at your lap and see how, lo how long your lap is. And I'm starting to get one. I carry all of my excess weight in my stomach. And so to get a lap is like huge. She goes, can you cross your legs yet? And I said, honey, when I can cross my legs for the first time in my life, I will have it on video and you will see it and uh, anyway I wanted to show you a picture of my lap I mean I'm just sitting in my car but I want to show you a picture of my lap like I said it's not still not much of a lap but you can see that it's changed <sighs> you made my day